Hey guys, I'm Sinead Grimes Beach, and today I have a very special guest with me, Miss Jana Kramer. Hello. And we are going to be walking you through 10 pregnancy hacks that we swear by. We recently reconnected. Yes. She had a, a small part on 90210 10 years ago. Year. And she is like a killer country singer, has had this like epic career since we have reconnected. This is gonna be a fun video. She's got some awesome tips, so do I. So hopefully these hacks help you guys with everything that you're dealing with. Number one is a belly band or kinesiology tape. So the kinesiology tape, you can wrap around, I'm like, where's my big old belly? You can wrap the kinesiology tape one piece, like in an almost smiley face shape, like mm -hmm. under your bump. Then I would do one as well, kind of over the bump, because I get a lot of like rib pain in here. Oh, so what does it help you then? It's support. It's support. Uh, and then you can also do it like this in like an upside down U shape around your hips. Yeah. yeah. So it, it helps support everything. The belly band sits basically just under your bump. And I was at a music festival a couple of weeks ago and ended up wearing that all day because I was walking around from stage to stage. Yeah. And, and it probably helps with the pressure too because I have really bad like pelvic pressure. So I'm sure that it helps like kind of alleviate some of that as well. Exactly. And then your lower. We're body. totally doctors, so listen to us. Yeah. I'm like, this says medically private. No, it's not. It's yeah. not. This is just my opinion. No ab exercises. That's a really important Well, no, wait, time out. My trainer would get really mad if I said that. Uh-oh. It's not no ab exercises. You can't lay out, like, don't lay on your back and sit up. So what you can, you can do, you can do planks all day long. Really? Yeah. So planks Front are fine. planks. Front planks are fine. Side okay. planks are fine. Like you can. Side, like planks, side planks are new. Like you, working at your obliques yeah. is No, all you good. can, I mean like we do planks and that's totally okay. fine. You're not going to get the ab separation. You can't lay on your back and do like pull-ups like that. And that even goes for like getting out of bed. Yeah, yeah I know. My acupuncture is like almost yelled at me the other day because I, I went up like that and I was like, oh, I forgot I have yeah. on my side. Yeah. Not that the the ab separation doesn't go back after the fact. It, it can heal itself for sure. Yeah. And it just makes recovery longer. It's not something you want to be dealing yeah. with. So it's avoid. just best to avoid it. I know like we all desperately want to like kind of fight it and stay as fit as possible during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. I was totally like that in my second trimester. But yeah. and, and you're not feeling super pregnant yet. So you're like, I can do this. But you shouldn't. Unless it's a plank. Janice trainer. Sorry. <laughs> We're on your side. Yeah. Another one that I have is compression socks. Oh yeah. This is you're getting swole. I I'm getting full up. I look like the blueberry girl from yeah. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory right now. My feet swell up and not only that, but also I get really bad restless leg syndrome. Oh, I hate that. I always have Michael like rub my legs. Like I remember when I was pregnant with Jolie, I was like, my leg, my leg, my leg, like yeah. massage it now. It gets really bad. It and if you have a lovely husband who will do that like ours, then like power to you, but compression socks help as well, especially on a flight. Uh, when I fly, I get really bad restless leg syndrome, and it's that much worse with pregnancy. Like yeah, I'm like freaking out, like <laughs> flipping my feet in the air. My husband's like, okay, calm down. You're freaking everybody out. Um, the compression socks make a big difference. So it helps with swelling, and it helps with restless leg syndrome. So that's an awesome one. The <laughs> one that I like, though, is the rubber band. Instead of buying pregnancy pants, you know, I do like pregnancy pants, but I like using, I still like wearing my jeans, so I just wear, I put a little, like, uh, a, a hair tie, loop it around, choop, choop. That's awesome. It's easy. That's such a so great easy. And you get to, like, keep your jeans. I feel like I'm going to have a tough time getting rid of my pregnancy denim just because it is so much comfier I do wear it over. Yeah. Yes. I love wearing over. I have friends that don't like doing over, but I love over. Oh, I love over the top. So it's so cozy. I was actually saying in another video um, that I have all of these maternity clothes and I don't have any friends other than you, but I feel like we're going to have a lot of the same stuff to give this stuff to. So I might do a giveaway on my channel oh, of go. my maternity clothes to somebody who is a similar size and who is, you know, That's starting cute. their pregnancy. So if you guys want a giveaway, make sure you leave She's me a comment below. She's giving me bras and thongs too. Um, no, like what I am. Another hack though, speaking of bras, is bra extenders. Oh, that's good. Bra but my extenders. nipple is so big that I have to get like the bigger. Oh, well, like, I got um, one size up because I was completely busting yeah. out of my bras, pre-pregnancy bras. And I got one size up and now, because my belly is getting bigger, my rib area is getting larger and the cup's not getting larger. So I'm yeah. like, Ugh, do I go up like 
one size again or do I just get a bra extender pack? I think it's like a pack of them on Amazon. I'll link to it somewhere. I'll do a little like pop up. I think it's like three for ten dollars or something. Love Amazon. So, <laughs> so I know. <laughs> it's so Daily easy deliveries. you guys and it'll make your bras last way longer throughout your entire pregnancy. So I would definitely recommend Love. bra extenders. Agreed. Also awesome. stay hydrated. Oh my gosh. Stay Even hydrated. Though, so here's the thing. Like I can't drink water but I can only drink I have, I have to drink sparkling water, like LaCroix or mm -hmm. um, what else am I drinking? Topo Chopo. Never it's like or Chico, something like that. It's a, it's a sparkling mineral water. It's okay. so good. So if you can't drink water, try to stay hydrated as best you can. My, my great hack for staying hydrated is buying what I bought one of these like stay cool all day thermos type of things and it's 40 ounces. So I know I have to drink two of those throughout the span of the day, a minimum of two of those. Is that what it is right over there? That's what that is. Yeah. And I bring it everywhere with me and it's just 40 ounces so i am drinking 80 ounces of water a day at minimum and if i haven't then i gotta chug that down at some chug, point chug, chug. um yeah so I'm, I'm doing that to kind of help me stay on top of it and you can also eat like hydrating foods like watermelon. cucumbers watermelon yeah. things like that like trick your body i live for my pregnancy which one do you have I have one that is a big giant you. See, Michael hates those. Because it takes up the entire bed and then he just gets like frustrated with it because it's like so right. big. And then it's like, where do you put it when you make the bed? Like it's right. and it's just kind of like this pillow that he's like, please, like so now I just use like a, a just pillow underneath my legs. Okay. Well that's a, a cheaper pillow. alternative for it sure. Is. Yeah, for sure. Because pregnancy pillows aren't that inexpensive. They're like fifty 40, bucks yeah. or something yeah. like that. Um, but I use it every single night. My husband does call it his replacement, um, <laughs> which is pretty accurate. <laughs> but he totally gets that I need to use it. And now if I'm like in the bath and he's like keeping me company by hanging out on the bed, I'll come out and I find him in my pregnancy pillow. <laughs> Like it's snuggled and smothered. Thing. One of the things I always notice with you is that you always, always have snacks on hand. Oh, snacks. went to the nail salon. This girl has got snacks. something like coming like out of her purse. Cherries. I'm doing almonds. I'm like, oh, <laughs> she sorry, comes I over. She's like, don't worry about it. I have my own crackers and like pulls out just snacks for women who are like first timers yeah. and haven't been pregnant before and are early on in their pregnancy. When you're really nauseous, the last thing you want to do is eat something yeah. obviously but more often than not eating you something eat. stops you right now from I'm like feeling nauseous. Nauseous. a couple hours I need to eat something because I'm starting to feel a little nauseous another thing that I've been using nonstop is um, this oil called mother's special blend okay from doesn't it get all over your clothes no so it it absorbs relatively quickly, but okay. it does not stain or mark your clothes, your couch, nada. It's called Mother Special Blends. Literally got a pregnant lady on the bottle. You can get it at Whole Foods. You can also get it at Amazon. It's like 14, 15 bucks a bottle, which will last you a while. I'm buying it right now. Because I don't have any stretch marks. A lot of people have commented on me not having them yet. And so I don't know if it's because of this or because of genetics or because of luck or whatever, but I'm still slathering oh, myself in that slather it on. every I'm time I get out of the shower. So I'm gonna have to just slather it on. So one more last hack that I have been absolutely loving, especially as I initially transitioned into pregnancy, was non-alcoholic wine. Uh, actually, it was champagne because I found the champagne tastes a lot nicer. I'm not even a champagne drinker. I like I'll have to try that. What I love to do is I have my mimosa in the morning, which is Perrier and orange juice. That's, That's really, really nice. sparkling and pretty. And I even put it like in a cute little wine glass. Those are your 10 pregnancy hacks. Yeah, 10 pregnancy hacks. Thank you so much for joining Thanks me on this me. video. If you guys liked this video, if you like seeing Jan on my channel, then leave me a comment below and let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and head over to Jana's channel. It's Jana Kramer Music. No, it's Jana Kramer One. Jana Kramer One, like Believe. the number one. Yeah. I'll I link to it down yeah. below. So go over to her channel, give it a subscribe. We did a video over on her channel as well, which was kind of like a video version of your podcast, yeah. the Wind Down. Mm -hmm. um, so go and be sure to check, check that out. out. See you in Bye. the next one. <laughs>